hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss sandy and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this knotless braided wig and here i'm using a 4x4 closure so yes let's move on so this is the net that i'm using to making this braided wig so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what happened with this net not like it is not good but um for my client head it was a bit uh, big so and this cap was quite small because i got a smaller size i'm very sure they have all the sizes though but i got a smaller size so i had to change it along the line so anyways just follow through and yeah if you're gonna be making this this is the process you would use to sewing the net to the wig cap so it is basically just the uh, very very easy to make so while I was um, making this and uh, I had to make sure that it was sewn properly so I went ahead to use the, the sewing machine to do this properly after using the hand metal but either ways if your sewings are properly tight you don't need to do the other way around so yeah so guys i went ahead to use a concealer pencil uh, you can use a sharpie and or you can use a concealer pencil i have however or whatever you you have um, in stock you can use it it doesn't really mean that you have to go to the market to get the the sharpie you can use what you have like this is a concealer pencil and guys i actually made a mistake when drawing this line i would have used my tape root to get my middle first before drawing out the line so i had to use this other color of concealer pencil to get my markings right yeah if that makes sense so here i'm basically just just gonna be um, ventilating inside the box i am not touching those lines so anyways guys so afterwards you want to make sure that you cut out the nets in order to start the ventilating so yeah after cutting it you i had to use the um the green fabric for contrasting my background in order to see the holes properly so you can use a black i don't know in whichever color you feel it's suitable for your eyes or whatever to in order to see the holes on the net you can use it but this green actually works better for me so yeah i'm basically just putting it underneath the recap in order to start ventilating so guys this is how it looks like so you can see how visible the holes are like very very visible so once that is done you want to start um, ventilating and this is also in a, a braiding hair attachment yeah braiding hair actually <laughs> so i'm basically just gonna use that to start ventilating it's not necessary that you use a human hair you can actually use a braiding hair it's actually the same there's really nothing to it so so i'm gonna explain how i am actually doing this ventilating method most people usually just ventilate around the box and then inside they just leave it like that but i want to make sure i wanted to make sure that my closure was as realistic as possible so i took my time to ventilate it properly so what i did is that i pick the first hole skip the second pick the third keep the skip the fourth pick the fifth and skip the 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 cyst so then i went to the next line and left the next line blank and then i went to the other next line of the box and then i picked the first skip the second pick the third skip the fourth like that like i don't know if that makes sense but i'm sure you'll be able to make this if you have to try this by yourself so guys just keep watching
so far so good this is what I've been able to do so uh, yeah I've actually done quite a lot <laughs> this quite this didn't take me like one day to do I'm gonna be honest with that like it took me several days because I had one or two to do so I'm just gonna do a close-up to show you guys how I did this in case you didn't understand the first part so I just picked the first hole skip the second pick the third skip the fourth pick the fifth skip the sixth pick the seventh skip the eighth on and on and on like that is just basically it and then when I was done with the first line of this uh, vein, this uh, method I went to the next line and I left it all the way through without picking any of it and then I went to the third line like so so I picked the first just follow through the just like the first procedure that I showed you pick the first skip the second pick the third skip the fourth pick the fifth skip the sixth on and on like that is how I basically went through so yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're able to watch through uh, up to this um, this part please <laughs> please subscribe guys subscribe guys support your girl so that I can make more videos and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so as to get updated when I post new videos so this is basically what I did till I got to the very end and you know this is the back so you have to make sure that you create a stop so that is why I did this so yeah a closure is looking very nice or pretty neat and yeah that's how I like to make my closure for my clients when requested so I'm just gonna make sure that this is very neat as possible guys yeah so just keep watching <laughs> keep watching guys I'll show you I'll show you guys what next to do so now for the back we want to make sure that this braid is not too heavy so we want to make sure that we use our tape rule to take out the right proper measurements i'm taking a um one and a half inch for that part and then when i get to the middle i would take one inch so this is where i'm gonna be braiding my I mean, I'm gonna be putting my feet in braids, so I'm just gonna put that line all the way through in order to make my markings um, pretty easy for you guys to be able to get. So, so I'm tracing that all the way to the other side. I'm gonna do that to the other side. So, when you're braiding, make sure that the braid is not so close to each other otherwise guys trust me this week is gonna be very heavy so you want to make sure that you don't put too much you just make sure that you leave a lot of space in so this is our braid oh my gosh i know this braid is gonna come out looking very nice because this color is fantabulous guys very matured and yeah so moving on um you you can actually use any form of uh any form of pomade, any form of a hair cream for this. This is just me basically using it to smoothen out my uh, my braiding hair in order to make my braids very neat as possible. So there are two methods to making this fit in braids. I'm gonna show you one, and then whichever you feel is quite easy for you to do, you can go ahead to doing that. So I'm just gonna part the braid into two, making the first one smaller and the other one bigger. The first one that is smaller is gonna be the third one that we're gonna put in two, like so. And then the bigger one is only gonna separate into two. So yeah, along the line I found out that this method was quite taking my time so I actually used the second method for making this braided wig because that was actually what was easy for me to make like didn't give me much, didn't give me stress at all but this, but then this other, this first method was quite stressful for me, it might not be for you guys whatever 
um, however or whatever suits you guys whatever is comfortable for you you can just go ahead to try in that so this was the method that I used in braiding doing the feeding braid um, for the rest of the week so I just use just one and then you just pat it into three and then you braid all the way down and then create your knot because this week I am actually leaving the tips which is the red parts um, I'm not braiding all the way to the red part because I wanted to create some curls. I wanted to give it some curls because uh, that was what uh, was requested. So I'm just going to create a knot like so. So yeah, that is how you're going to do the rest of the week. And yeah. So guys, yeah. I'm going to show you how I picked the knotless how to do the knotless braid if you want if you're gonna do this so this is basically how I did mine it's very easy guys all you need to do is just to pick the braid that is when you part your braiding hair pick it like so and then you just take a strand and then you put in that part of the finger and then like so and then you take another one basically just two and that is fine that is okay you don't have to do too much so yeah that's how i did the rest of the knotless braid but keep watching because there's something i want to show you guys like you have to keep watching in order to get the full details of this week so that you don't get to make mistakes and then all those other parts that was sewn with the thread i'm gonna show you guys how to hide it in order for it not to show i'm gonna show you how to hide it properly so yeah So guys, I did mention that the cap that I used previously was smaller, so I had to change it because um, it was not the actual size for my client. So this is basically the same metal that I used previously for um, doing the knotless braid. And as you can see, this is the back and uh, I did two lines for the back because I wanted it to have that um, more realistic look instead of just single so yeah there are two ways to covering this um back part where it's sewn you can use the, either use the needle and thread and just use the thread and needle to attach the braiding hair and um, once you knot the thread then you start braiding all the way through or you can use this method that i'm using i'm using my ventilating pin to ventilate that part and also the dome cap so that is just basically how to do this um, how to cover this part so that it's not visible because it won't it won't really make sense if it's visible so you want to make sure that that is covered properly So once that is done, you want to proceed to creating the curl. So for this, I did was to tie the um, the parts where I created my knots with a needle and with a thread, and then I braided all the way through, and then I dipped it in hot water. So I'm also going to ventilate the front part for the baby hairs, and I used a coily human hair for this because I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. So guys, this is how our week turned out to be after dipping it in the hot water. 
and yeah this is our baby hair so I'm gonna try this out so that I can show you guys how to uh, make the lines of the the lace net not visible and how to make it as realistic as possible so I'm gonna be using uh, the lace stain spray that I created that I made actually so guys make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be um, doing a video on how to make this list in spring and trust me guys you can actually make money from doing this and selling this so guys this is how our wig turned out to be as you can see how how realistic it looks like like it is so beautiful guys like trust me this wig is so light like it wasn't heavy at all so just make sure that you follow through all the procedures that I listed and you'll be able to come out with a beautiful wig and light weighted wig as this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're able to watch to this extent, just know that you guys are the best. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.